Your entries into us by Monday the 27th of August 2007. I'm so jealous. All the very best with that. Now back to the magic and the competition in the mansion has never been so intense, right? The sorceries are fighting it out because tomorrow four of them have to go home. Who's it going to be? It's time for day four of The Sorcerer's Apprentice. One sorcerer. 14 hopefuls. Two weeks at magic school. There can only be one winner. Hello and welcome to The Sorcerer's Apprentice. One, two. On today's show, the sorceries learn some magical moves. Here from home. I do miss my family and everything, but I'm alright, I'll stick for it. And tackle their toughest tricks yet. I'm scared. Look at that. Zzz. Deep in the heart of the ancient English countryside, a master magician is searching for an apprentice. A boy or girl who can master the secrets, the art and history of magic. A protégé to make the light of magic shine eternal. The kind of apprentice that I'm looking for, somebody that is dedicated, somebody that seeks to be skillful, somebody that aims for perfection. Since they arrived at the school, our sorceries have experienced a non-stop barrage of mind-bending magic. <laughs> that hurts me! <laughs> Even though it looks like a piece of carrot, it transmogrifies. But has any of it rubbed off? There we are. Hey, mouse. Say the magic words. Chick, 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 chicken. Lay a little egg for me. It's a real egg. The contest to become the Sorcerer's Apprentice has never been more intense. Our wannabe magicians are fighting for survival because in just 48 hours, the first four to be eliminated will be heading home. I just want to do my best and stay in the academy. I'm a bit nervous. Hopefully I won't go home. One of us girls is going to be the Sorcerer's Apprentice. It's almost the end of the first week at magic school. And as usual, housemistress Miss Ford is up bright and early. Get up. The boys are complete sleepyheads. <laughs> but in the girls' dorm, it's practice, practice, practice. OK, ladies, we're going to work on our memories, we're going to work on our card skills. Even in their pyjamas, they're determined to stay ahead of the game. One, two, three. Two of clubs, queen of clubs and five of hearts. Very yeah. good. Tomorrow will be the last time the boys and girls compete in teams, but with the girls leading 2-0, the boys' honour is at stake. The competition between the boys and the girls is really hotting up, so that means our trainee magicians really need to concentrate on what... Ow. Ow. Um, so, as I was saying, concentration is key, and the ability to pass through solid objects might be a good thing as well. Ouch. Come on in, ladies, take your seats. Today, the sorceries must master the magical mysteries of restoration and penetration. OK, gentlemen, listen up nice and quiet, please. Mr Knight is teaching the boys the art of restoration, tearing up an object and then putting it back together. I'll give you a bit of a story. So this is how it'd go, right? Um, just my birthday recently, I got, a magic, I got given a present, OK? And when I opened up the present, I actually found it was actually a magic wand. First, you take some tissue paper and a wand. Now, the magic wands, we all know what, what they can do. The male magic wands have special sort of powers and you can use them for all different sorts of bits and pieces. Um, this magic wand was actually given to me by my best friend. Then you tear the paper into little pieces and screw it up into a ball. So I'm going to do a little experiment, right? If I tap this once, twice, thrice, hopefully, if this has worked, this should have actually fused a piece of paper back into its original form. <laughs> So that's what we're going to learn. Yeah. It's fairly easy to do. Yeah. 
Hmm, easier said than done. You screw them together, and because that's stuck to the back of it, the whole thing should remain as one piece. You don't need to hold both of them at the same time, if that makes sense. No, it's not. Okay, we'll do it again. So the idea is to keep that other ball, this one here, a secret so your audience never ever knows about it, okay? They're never ever to know that you've got a separate piece of paper hidden in your hand. Okay. Why is red? Why is it red? Because yeah, red's a nice, red. bright visual colour, that's why. So is yellow. This is true, but red's more manly. Ladies, pay attention. The girls are mastering penetration, which means passing one object directly through another. This is a trick with two balloons, two eggs. We're going to take one egg, it goes inside the balloon. Oh. Number one. Second time, with a clear balloon, so you can see exactly what's happening. We take the egg. Whoa. We now have an egg in a balloon. Whoa. Now, some of you don't really believe that there's an egg inside the black balloon. So here we go. There it is. An egg. Thank you. That's the trick. So, what's the secret? What you do is you pinch up like so, and I grab the egg inside the balloon. It's a spongy egg, and you twist it. And that was behind my finger. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? So, look how good this looks, ladies. Look. When you hit it, it goes in. It goes in. All I do is release that. Yes. Watch it. Oh, Whose oh. balloon was that? But magic is never as easy as it looks. Yes. Does this look... Now, is that what we're here to do? Look, I'm scared. I'm scared of what? The girls have got used to winning now, but this is their toughest trick yet, and they're struggling. I moved it. All except one girl, Ellie Kauke. Basically, that's it. She's cracked it, but it's not unusual for her to stand out from the crowd. I'm Ellie Kauke, but you can call me Emo Child. Rock on. Emo is emotional rocker. Emos wear black eyeliner, different colours on each finger because just the same colour is quite boring. Ellie's her own person. She's a total individual. She will, um, she won't follow any trend or anything else. She'll do what she wants to do. And she'll think for herself. I like getting a reaction because it makes you feel original. You don't like following people and you don't mind what people think because you're doing your own thing. Ha ha! OK. Individual Ellie has become a shining example to her fellow sorceries. If you don't look at that, you go, and here I have two balloons. And here balloons. I have two balloons. Who are needing all the help they can get. The boys are probably practicing and getting a routine together. We're still playing with balloons. I'm, I want to tell you about this package that I found at breakfast. I've been wanting to open it all day, but I, I thought I would save it for you. you the know. boys have already moved on to creating their storylines, or what's known in the trade as patter. A wand! I've always wanted one of those. Always, like. Well, a wand, a, a real wand. I mean, it's not plastic. It's a real wand. I mean, Mr. I mean, Knight likes what he sees. I think this time round, the boys seem to be slightly more committed because they know the pressure that's on them. They can use the skills and the manipulation uh, with the props uh, to be able to hand over a really nice performance. I'm hoping that's what my boys will deliver. Okay, number one. Confidence is not so high in the girls' camp. I do have my doubts today. I really do. I think 50% of the class will do fine. 50% of tears and tragedy. I actually have a feeling that we're not going to win this one. I really do. Because we, um, we keep popping balloons and we don't mean to pop them. It's really annoying because I've like, popped a f like five balloons already and broken two eggs. I'd say the boys trick is probably easier than the girls, but according to the girls, their trick's better. I don't think so. It's 11 a.m. and after a tough lesson, the sorceries enjoy a well-earned break. But little do they know that Mr. Knight is on the warpath. 
he's found an abandoned wand, a serious offence at magic school. Get up your boxes. Let's go, please. He calls a snap inspection. Grab some seats around there, please. Open up your case. Are you missing anything? No. OK. Sammy, open up your case. Yeah, everything. You've got everything. Open up your case. What have you got? Everything. I might miss anything, but my pencil broke yesterday. From us, open up your case. Everything. Except You've got pencil. absolutely everything? Yeah. Good. Harvey, open up your case. Ugh. Are you missing anything? Uh, the wand. You're missing your wand. Uh, the most important thing in the set is the magic wand, and that's the thing that you manage to disregard and leave lying around somewhere. This is not good news. It's the third time Harvey's been in trouble in as many days. Since day one, he's relished being the Joker in the pack. My plan is to have fun and not be too worked stuck One, into five, the work. Six, seven. <laughs> I think you think you're a little bit of a Jack the Lad, Harvey, but you're not. Come. Now it's make or break time for Harvey. Do you want it back? Yeah. Yeah, are you sure? Sure. Keep coming. If he's serious about magic, he's got to prove it. Open that piece of paper. You're going to hold it above your head and you're going to run around the circle five times in a loud voice, shouting out, I love my magic wand. Got to do it five times. Go that way. Go. I love my magic wand. I love my magic wand. Louder, Harvey, we can't hear you. I love my magic wand. <laughs> That's once. Go. I love my magic wand. Come on. Again, Harvey. Has he learnt his lesson? Trying to be a lot better because I, I want to try and become the sorcerer's apprentice and I reckon I could, if I tried, be quite good at magic. <laughs> Great magicians come in all shapes and sizes. And not all of them wear top hats. A sorcerer has got a special guest popping in to help our trainee magicians. This is Dynamo. He took up magic to escape life in the inner city and is now famous around the globe for his urban magic style and body popping moves. Please put your hands together for the non stop body pop of penetration restoration magician extraordinaire, Mr. Dynamo. Yo. Give him a round of applause. How are you doing, guys? Hi. You good? You having fun this morning? Yeah. My name's Dynamo. My magic's a little bit different because I'm, you know, as you can see, I'm a lot younger than some of the guys you might have seen. <laughs> so I kind of use, you know, modern influences. Like, you listen to hip-hop? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to mix hip-hop into my magic. You know, a bit of body popping and stuff like that. I'm going to show you some of my body popping card magic. Yeah. Just grab one out. I have four cards picked. Step one, pick a card, any card. You want to look at them and hold them up so all your friends can see them. Everyone got on? Yeah. Take this one. That Step one two, place them back in the pack. That's two. Three. Four cards at the same time. And a quick shuffle. Slow motion. Step three, reproduce the same four cards, but keep it straight. Got that yours, yeah? Yeah, that's mine. So we've got the eight of hearts, that's your card. For your card, I'm going to do something, not necessarily body popping, but it's a bit different. Can you see down here? Whoa. 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 One card jumps out. Yeah. Oh. The last two, I've got one in my back pocket. I think that's you. Mine. And for you, what I'll do, I'll make all the cards disappear. Maybe in one card. There you. Oh. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh my god! He's making it move! He's not like any other magician. The sorceries have been dazzled by Dynamo. He's even made an impression on Harvey. I 
always thought to myself that magicians were like all boring and just done magic. But I looked at Dynamo today and they were actually really fun. Oh, as well, Wicked, he does lots of bubbly popping and it looks well smart. He was like, like us, like he dressed a little bit like how we dress. He was talking how we talk. He, he was doing everything that like we're le learning how to do, but like with style. So our wannabe sorceries have been wowed by Dynamo's magic moves, and now it's time for them to have a go. Yeah, look at me go, bust a move. Dynamo's invited his body popping dance teacher, Dennis John, to help improve the pupil's confidence and sense of timing. Turn. Now our sorceries get to turn simple moves into serious grooves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. To here. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Drop. Five, six, seven. And bend. Up. And one, one, two, three. Drop. How are you feeling, Joe? Not yeah. bad. Not bad. Do you want some power? <laughs> Do you want some power? I need the you power. You need the power. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> You've got the power. I have it. All right, show me. <laughs> now the class have warmed up. Body popper Dennis pairs the sorceries up for a competition. Let's do this. I'm on. Rebecca. Yes, ma'am. And for Rebecca's partner, Joe, the power seems to be going to his head. But it's Rebecca Lord who's usually the one in charge. I am very competitive. It has to be my way. It has to be my own way. The defenders always know when Bex is in goal. She is forever commanding them, telling them what to do. She shouts a lot, really. Tell us what to do all the time. Katie, get stuck in! Five words to describe me. Gobby. <laughs> loud. <laughs> Rude, bit funny, and lovable. I'm very lovable by everyone. Listen, I've been watching you both practice, and you're doing very well. Not when he's telling me off. He's, are you yeah. telling her off? So, will these two bossy boots manage to work together? Yeah, you know what it is? Less talking, more practice. It's time for the dance off. Yes, that's right. Who should we have up here first? Yeah. Right then, let's go. <laughs> Thomas Power struts his stuff with partner Sian. Excellent. Rebecca Whiteley throws some shapes with Thomas Hewson. <laughs> Harvey's really putting in the effort now, even if he does think he's on a horse. <laughs> That's it. And Joe and Rebecca definitely aren't in sync. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's dancing to his own tune. Oh! So, who's impressed the judges the most? We think that the best duo was yours. Yeah! Bad luck, Joe and Rebecca. It seems that dancing, like magic, is all about teamwork. Our sorceries have been at magic school for almost a week now. With no mobile phones, email or contact from home, it's been tough. Good afternoon, sorceries. Letter has arrived, or rather a package has arrived for... Uh, it might be for me. Let's have a look. Oh. Useless. Uh, very useless. Never mind. Just one of those things. Um, when was the last time you uh, heard from your parents? Ages ago. Uh, when, when we left. You must be getting quite homesick. Yeah. Huh? Oh, All right, well, point your fingers at the box. Wave your fingers at the box. Wave your fingers at the box. Just wave like that. Yeah, we'll just wave. Just wave. I just hate all this stuff. Please, all this please, bubble wrap and rubbish. There's one more. Say letters. Letters! Letters! <laughs> Quickly, Garrett, grab them. Thomas! Thomas, Thomas, my wife! Becky! Look at Over the last week, the strict regime of magic school has pushed our sorceries to the limit. But it's also made them realise the true value of friendship. 
Open. They sent me a picture of all animals. <laughs> Look. Does it make you want to go home? <laughs> no? It makes me want to carry on. It makes you want to carry on. You're more determined. I was quite upset because uh, I missed my mum's birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, mum, for yesterday. I do miss my family and everything, but I'm all right. I'll stick through it. For Harvey, the letters reconfirm his new determination to knuckle down. I want to be here because then maybe I can get really good at magic and be more like Dynamo and the Sorcerer. <laughs> It's the morning of the performance. Watching me, right? And I'm going to relax. And with just hours to go, the boys are putting the finishing touches to their tricks. You can pick someone, they're going to come up. And, I'm gonna, and they're going to do it. I'll say, open it up. Where's my yeah. glue? The boom, it restores. Come on in, please take your seats. But the girls are summoned for an emergency lesson by their teacher, Miss Evans. OK, ladies, I'm really concerned. Since the last lesson, I've been thinking about it and it was really bad. It's not me that's going to be on that stage failing. I don't want any of you to feel that. It's not a comfortable feeling. So, to set the standard, Miss Evans calls up confident Ellie Cowkin. So I took the egg, I went smack, and it was inside. Ellie's a class act. Ladies and gentlemen, sauce of a sir. Um, but the rest of the girls are miles behind. I'm really sorry, this balloon's coming out of my fingers. I've got the egg. Oh. Place the balloon above my head. And... At this rate, they'll need the to pull off a miracle if they're going to beat the boys. Last time I watched them perform, the patter that the boys had was much better than the pattern that the girls had. However, the performance levels that I saw from the girls was better than the boys. It's almost neck and neck, and it'll be interesting to see what happens today. This is definitely the toughest trick, definitely, by far. I'm getting um, butterflies in my stomach, and I feel like fainting. I'm really hoping it does go a lot better, because I want to try and stay. So far, the sorceries have performed twice, and the girls have won both times. The boys' reputation is at stake. They can't afford to lose three in a row. It's a great pleasure to see you all again today upon this stage. The joy for me so our trainee sorceries are about to set fire on the stage one more time to perform in front of the sorcerer. Now, I happen to know they've been practising quite a lot, but will practice make perfect on the day? We're about to find out. If the boys could join us in the audience and the girls prepare for their magic. The Let the show begin. Miss Leonie Gibson. <laughs> Here I have two balloons and some eggs. If I place this egg into my hand and hold the balloons up high, place it into there, oh my God! There's an egg inside this balloon and wham! No way. Against all odds, the girls seem to be turning it around. Okay. Here I have an egg. Place it in my hand and bang. But then Rebecca scrambles her eggs. And the egg was in there. Oh, uh, eggs kind of flying all over the place. <laughs> uh, eggs here and eggs there and uh, eggs everywhere. Enjoy. After Rebecca's slip-up, the girls are now pinning all their hopes on Ellie. One day, I went to Leone Circus and her dad came up to me and he said, Ellie, I thought that you can't get this egg inside that balloon. So I took the egg and smack, it was inside. No surprises there, a polished performance from Ellie. A real egg. As usual, the girls are looking solid. If the boys want to avoid a whitewash, they'll need to pull out all the stops. Please put your hands together for Thomas Hewson. Ladies and gentlemen, Sorcerer Sir, I would like to show you some magic today. Is it OK if I start? Don't okay. ask. Go ahead. Now, today it's my very own special day. 
Because it's my birthday and I'm 13 today. Earlier I was walking to the shop. Out of nowhere came this package. It just smacked me right in the nose. Would you like to see my package? A wand? I feel faint! But I don't need this paper. The boys are on fire. Fluent and inventive. I want you all to blow straight at me. Tomas Power is even working his Everyone, audience. Keep on blowing, right? And now if we mix them all up and put it into this bowl. With victory almost in sight. Get 16. Good luck, Lush, in that. Get 16. The last performer takes to the stage. Oh, my God. It's a wand. Let's see if it works. One, two, three. So far, so good. Wait, I don't even know where it's from. Wait, oh, I knew it. My land. But then, disaster. Harvey forgets his lines. Harvey. What are you doing, man? Harvey, come back. I'm going back. Harvey. 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 There'll be a five-minute delay, sir. Sorry, he's just crying. Just... Harvey, what's up? Oh, damn. So why should I just continue this now? It's tough. Oh, this is tough. I don't know what to do. Harvey, you ain't rubbish. You rubbish, man. Come on. You ain't rubbish, Harvey. You're good. Just come on. And plus, we need your points anyway. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Your feet, come on. Points will make a big difference, Harvey. Yeah, man. Come on. If you take a second chance, then he's going to say that you're determined. Exactly. He's going to know that you have... Determined you detail and discipline. Oh. Oh. Sorcerer, um, it doesn't look like Harvey will be joining us um, this afternoon and performing. He's uh, really not up for it. Will Harvey's loss of nerve cost the boys dear? Today's scores, unfortunately, one of the boys being unmarkable. The boys have scored 394 as a collective whole. And the girls have scored 454 as a collective whole. As the girls celebrate, the sorcerer calls Harvey to his study for a much needed pep talk. Come in, have a seat. Oh, Harvey. We've seen you change from being someone that was almost uncontrollable. Now you've actually calmed down, you've focused yourself, you've channeled your energy. We're seeing great things from you in that respect. And I'm proud of you, the way that I've seen you change. But I just want you to give it this extra push. I want to see better performance from you. I want, to, I want it to be a gleaming performance tomorrow night. Come on stage, and if it goes wrong, still smile. Still finish the job, and take a big bow at the end, OK? Do you promise me you'll do that? I promise you, sir. Thank you. OK. All right, Harvey, chin up. OK. Don't stop. Remember, dedication, okay. discipline, detail. OK. Thank you, sir. Bye. Next time on The Sorcerer's Apprentice, the pupils fight to keep their place at magic school. I don't think I've ever been under pressure like this before. Yes, you are. Face their first performance in front of an audience. Circle and attack. And it's decision time for The Sorcerer. Four seats will be empty when we next eat together. The kind of apprentice that I'm looking for Somebody that is dedicated. Well, he's in big trouble. Somebody that seeks to be skillful. Somebody that aims for perfection. I'm really scared that I'm going to mess it. Who's got what it takes? I'm not here just to play, I'm here to win. And who's too cool for magic school? I'm not amused! With an eviction on Friday, all will be revealed in The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Weekdays at 5 on CBBC One. Oh my gosh, who's it gonna be tomorrow? I just don't know. How amazing was Dynamo as well? His tricks are just.